evening troopers. I'm fat, but I'm happy. So tonight, it's very rare in this day and age that we genuinely get a bargain. And I want to class my pickup today as a genuine bargain. It wasn't from a cheap shop. It wasn't second hand. It was from a high street retail store of quite good standing, Argos. And it is the SNES Mini case. And it was only five pounds. Now five pounds isn't a lot. I actually checked the receipt because five pounds isn't a lot of money at all. And I've got to tell you, if you've got a SNES Mini, this is amazing value. Because I'm always taking my SNES Mini to mates' houses and to work for days when they use it on, you know, your screens. Whenever. I'm always taking it around. And this is a really good carry case. Now there's more expensive carry cases on the market. But they do the same job as this. And here it is. Now you've probably seen them. If you can get one, get one from Argos. They're £5. That's all you need to know. I have suspicions that it's possibly been re released in North America, didn't sell very well, or they just had an excess number of stock, and it's been shipped over here. Because the packaging is all in English and French. Okay, so far so normal. But the distributor is American, even though it's made in China. Now, I'd expect there to be a European distributor if it was designed to be distributed in Europe. Um, and the fact it's in English and, and, and French makes me wonder if it's either Canadian or North American with an eye to the Canadian market with it. Um, it comes in not a box, in a plastic bag with this card wrapped around it. And you can pretty much see what... I'm not, there's no point looking at the picture because I'm going to show you the real thing. But that's what you get. And what you get is this box. Now, another thing that makes me think it's for the American market is because it, it acts, the accents are all from the North American version of the SNES, which I don't like. I much prefer the Japanese European version. Um, I think it looks a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. Um, and I don't think that's the case of just what it was that I grew up with, because I didn't grow up with the SNES. I never really had a, a SNES growing up. I was always a Sega boy. Um, Sega boy, Sega boy that morphed into a, a Sony boy, um, as opposed to Nintendo boys that morphed into Xboxes, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are thinking when you're buying your Xboxes. Football! Oh, football! Kickball! Pay 30 quid every month for more players. Play 70 pound every year for more games. I don't know what you're thinking when you're playing FIFA, to be honest. Anyway, I'm only joking, right? Each to their own. I know people love FIFA. I'm only teasing, right? Madden if you're American and what else, right? Same game every year, but you're happy with it. You do your thing, man, honestly. So, review time. The outside of the box, like I said, it's got accents for the North American SNES, which is all right. It, it's, not gonna, it's not making or breaking anything. If, you know, it looks cool. Uh, it's got a certain retro vibe to it as well. You know, the grey plastic. It looks like if Star Trek Next Generation was still on TV they put like an Elcars thing there and that'll be used as like a doctor's bag in sick bay. You know I'm right. Uh, the handle's a bit, ugh, the handle's a bit I don't like. I don't know whether it's just supposed to look like beads or chain, but it's a weak link in the design. What I do like though is on the back, A, it's printed, which is a really nice touch, and B, it's got these four rubber feet. That is a really nice touch. Because essentially it's a lunchbox, isn't it? But it doesn't need all these extra touches, and that is a nice extra touch. Um, I thought they were vents on the side, but they're just cut louvers. I don't know why they vents, but they're there, and they look... I suppose they're echoing something on the snares. And that's the outside of it, apart from the main feature. So there's more embossing mould in there, which is nice. But then you get this front. And in the front, you get six cards. Which means you can basically personalise the box. Uh, and you've got uh, Legend of Zelda, which backs onto Super Metroid. 
Uh, you've got Star Fox 2, which is a nice touch because that's the that's the unreleased game that they put on that. So that's that's nice. Um, on to, uh, I can't even see that. I've only really just got this, so be ready. Oh, F0. Uh, and then the last one is uh, Mario World, if that's how you want to live your life. And then the obvious choice, which of course is Mario Kart. So you get you get those three double sided cards anyway. They're free. They're included. They're not going away. They're safe. And it's going to take me the the commercial break to count out your money. That's quite a funny Joe Cashy dad. So I'm just going to bang them in. So that's the outside of this little box covered, and I really like it. So, so far, it's easily worth a fiver, even if it's just a lunchbox with a Nintendo branding on it, if we're honest. So then we open it up. It's got two clasps. They're not the strongest in the world, but they'll do the job. You know, it's not a pelly case. You're not taking it to the North Pole, are you? And then we open it up. And then the inside, I've got my uh, SNES Mini in here, but I'm going to pop everything out. I can't show you the holes. Stop singing. So you've got a hole for your SNES Mini, two controllers. I did like the fact it came with two controllers because everyone just bought a second controller for the NES Mini. Even I did, I barely have it on. It's not very good. Anyway, no, it's lovely, it's lovely, it's lovely. Um, so yeah, and then it took me to work out that, but that's for your North American power supply. Again, a lending credence to my theory that it's for the old uh, North American market. Because they're plugs, man. Why don't they just... It's like sticking two butter knives in the wall, isn't it? American plugs. Ridiculous. I don't know why the houses just don't burn to a crisp every time they turn anything on. But that's where the American power supply goes. You've got your controller. And what I love is you can plug the flappy end in there. So you haven't got like a, the end of it rattling around. That's another nice touch. And then the final nice touch. First of all, this is all phone lined even inside there. So that doesn't, they, they, they could have left that, but they haven't. It's even foam lined in there, which it, they could have left that and they haven't. But the final touch is this little flap at the top. And you could put a USB cable in there for power. You could put uh, a proper power supply from a country where God pays attention in there. Um, like your mobile phone ones that collapse down flat. And also you can put um, I don't know, yeah, you can put USB, you can put your HDMI cable, that's the word I'm looking for, HDMI, am I, am I, so that's a nice little box, so this just holds everything you need, and it's a bit dorky, and that is literally the word, dorky, because it's grey plastic with your lunchbox with Nintendo on the front, but it's only a fiver, and I can't believe it's only a fiver. Because I think even if it was a tenner, it, I'd still feel happy. You know, if I bought, if I went into a shop and I had a tenner in my pocket, and I saw this official branded, proper thing, it's a tenner. Yeah, I'll have that. Um, I think much more than that. I think I'd probably pay up to thirteen ninety nine, maybe. Anything more than that, I'd be dancing. I'd be like, oh, I'll leave that. But for a fiver, pint and a bag of crisps. So, if you have a NES Mini, a SNES Mini, I've got both. If you have a SNES, a SNES Mini, uh, and you ever take it anywhere, I suggest you go down to Argos, if they've got them in. I don't know what the stock like is, but I'm imagining these are going like hotcakes, because if you've got a NES, a SNES, I can't get that right. I'm not going to stop the video now, because it's going so well. So we're going to have a little, let's have a little chat amongst yourselves. So how are you doing? You've been busy? How's work today? Yeah? You said it, buddy. Anyway, back to the show. If you've got a SNES Mini, I'd get one of these. You're mad not to. When you go on holiday, I mean, I'm not saying taking it through, like, customs to Benidorm, but if you're off to, like, a little house somewhere in Wales or Cornwall or somewhere, then it's ideal for that. It keeps everything safe. It keeps everything together. And it shows the world that you not you love the Super Nintendo. So... That's my review of that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, hit which one? Which side is it? Subscribe and like, or is it like and subscribe? Just hit them both. Every button underneath, just hit. Well, very, very, very. Just keep hitting them. Um, and then uh, I'll be back with another video midweek, or maybe later on in the week. I don't know. I don't know. 
don't know. 